Artificial intelligence can help us restore old footage of the Netherlands, adding colour to understand the forgotten culture of the industrial age. An era when Philips made just about everything in and around the city of Eindhoven. All dreamed up in the Philips NatLab, the world's largest industrial research lab of its kind. It's time to recreate that culture of shared innovation. Yeah, so Philips Research was a, a very open door minded uh, research facility in, in a time frame where Philips was still big, 340,000 people worldwide. And all those technology areas were all around under one roof. It was all Philips. Philips in fact did work on all those areas. But nowadays it has been uh, separated. ASML is separate from Thermo Fisher, is uh, separate from Philips Healthcare. And in order to bridge those gaps and really explore the synergies, uh, to, to explore the collective intelligence, that's why uh, we founded the Eindhoven Engine. This moment in Eindhoven Engine, we have about 15 projects, about 200 people who are involved from the industry and the academic world. Companies are coming to Eindhoven Engine uh, for the reason looking for talent, of course, but also have access to a different way of working, to work um, in a own culture which is not the company culture and where you have access to a knowledge institute, but also young students. The interesting thing is about our region is that we work very well together, all parties, the, the triple helix, uh, in, in, as it was called in the past, maybe it's a pentagon in the future or now. Uh, still, uh, there are silos, like healthcare is sort of separated from semicom, is separated from energy. And within Eindhoven Engine, we try to build bridges so as to accelerate each of those areas in their own by exploring cross-linking uh, of knowledge and, and, and insights and system thinking. I agree that it's difficult to copy um, the way of working and the people, but I think it's easy to find a formula which is fitting to your specific ecosystem and find the energizers in this ecosystem, the good people who are connected very well to that ecosystem. If you want to bridge gaps between, say, the building environment and the healthcare and the semicom, you cannot let it be, be only in those companies because they are in their own areas. So you have to, to get the people from the companies to our campus, to our location of Eindhoven Engine, together with the researchers from TU Eindhoven, Fontys and TNO, to actually co-locate the, the innovation uh, projects there and in order to unleash that collective intelligence. In Eindhoven Engine, we ask people to be part of our physical co-location idea. So at least part-time people uh, need to join us. And we are convinced that that is the added value of our way of working. One, two days uh, a week that people have uh, the wish also to contribute to this community.